Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss multiple choice questions in upper limb anatomy from question number 41 to 50. I will put the answer keys as well as the Amazon link of two of my books in the description of this video for your kind information. Let us solve the multiple choice questions. Question number 41. A 39 year old woman developed cubital tunnel syndrome. The cubital tunnel is formed by the medial epicondyle of the humerus, ulnar collateral ligament, and two hairs of the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. Which of the following nerve passes through the cubital tunnel? Axillary nerve, radial nerve, median nerve, musculocutaneous nerve, ulnar nerve. Which nerve? Answer should be ulnar nerve. Okay, we got that. Then go to the question number 42. A 23 year old biker has developed Guyon Canal syndrome due to entrapment of the ulnar nerve. All of the following structure forms the Guyon Canal with one exception. The exception is what? So the canal is formed by PG form, hook of the hamlet, PG hamlet ligament. How about palmar aponeurosis? Does it form the Guyon canal? No. So this is the exception and that is the answer. These three PG form, hook of hamlet, PG hamlet ligament forms the Guyon canal. Question number 43, identify the indicated bone. What is this bone? Okay, this is the, is it scaphoid? This is scaphoid. Okay, lunate, we got lunate. Trapezium will go there, in this side. Trapezium, capitate, we have the capitate here. And what is the, this? The Hamet. Okay, this is the hamet bone. This is the hamet. A 61 year old lawn tennis player has developed pain on his lateral epicondyle of the humerus. All of the following muscles take origin from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus except one. The exception is okay supernatal and coneus extensor carpi radialis brevis pronator teres extensor carpi ulnaris so, lateral epicondyle it has the common extensor muscle origin so supernatal and coneus extensor carpi radialis brevis extensor carpi ulnaris they all are coming out of the lateral epicondyle of the humerus Exception is what? Pronator teres. Pronator teres is a flexor muscle. It has one origin from the medial epicondyle, not from lateral epicondyle. So this is the answer. Question number 45. A 59 year old golfer has developed inflammation of the medial epicondyle of the humerus all of the following muscles take origin from the medial epicondyle except one the exception is what from medial epicondyle brachioradialis pronator teres flexor carpi ulnaris palmaris longus humeral head of the flexor carpi ulnaris so what is the exception Exception is brachioradialis. That should come from the from the lateral supracondylar ribs. Okay, not from the medial epicondyle. Answer is that partly it come from the, the lateral epicondyle. It's common extensor origin, but not from medial epicondyle. So answer is A, exception. 
all of them are coming from the medial epicondyle by a common flexor origin. Question number 46, which of the following muscle inserts to the lateral third of the clavicle, acromion and spine of scapula? What is that muscle? Sternocleidomastoid, trapezius, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. Okay, so which muscle inserts to the lateral third of the clavicle? Acromion and and the spine of the scapula what is that muscle insertion to the clavicle clavicle acromion and spine of the scapula answer should be what trapezius muscle okay we got that trapezius then go there here question number 47 in congenital torticollis which of the following muscle is fibrous and is shortened pectoralis major sternocleidomastoid muscle trapezius deltoid okay so what is the muscle muscle is the deltoid okay so we got that question number 48 fascia that extends between the subclavius and pectoralis minor is what clavipectoral fascia axillary fascia brachial fascia antibrachial fascia answer should be clavipectoral fascia Question number 49, which of the following structure does not pierce the clavipectoral fascia? Clavipectoral fascia is pierced by the cephalic vein, thoracoacromial artery, lateral pectoral nerve. The clavipectoral fascia also pierced by some lymphatic vessels, but not by axillary nerve. So this is the answer. Okay, which of the following nerve is related to the group behind the indicated structure? Radial nerve, ulnar nerve, axillary nerve, median nerve. This is the medial epicondyle. Behind it, we have the ulnar nerve. This is the answer. Okay. And we got that and that's all about the questions number 41 to 50 if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me and for your information answer key and two of my book amazon link is in the description bar of this video for your kind information have a nice day bye now